Today we are going to be diving into some uncharted territory and that territory is disturbing horror movies. We've done a lot of horror movies on this channel. The girl who's scared of everything has dipped her toe into some horror movies and actually now I'm a pretty big fan of horror movies. I watch them like for my own enjoyment now so I think we can call that character development. Today we are going to be watching one of the most disturbing disgusting movies ever. We're going to be watching The Human Centipede. I am so nervous about this. First of all I'm nervous that most of you guys won't watch this video just for the sole fact of like the movie being so disgusting in general and second of all I feel like I'm going to be super traumatized after this because I I have only watched commentaries for this so I've never seen anything that graphic from the movie so I am super scared there's three centipede movies I'm only gonna be watching the first one I have a brief premise on what already happens so if I know things like that's why I've watched like a movie review and a movie commentary I watched Amanda's commentary on it and I've decided to take it on myself today the girl who's scared of everything is going to be watching the human centipede. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've heard me talk about ExpressVPN before, and I'm here to talk about them again today. A VPN is a virtual private network, and it basically just creates a secure tunnel for your information and data to go from your device through the internet. In other words, just think of it like an envelope around your postcard. I love using ExpressVPN even when I'm home, but especially when I'm out in public because I don't want my data to be mined by data miners. The government, large corporations, and websites, track your data, use it, and use it for their own agenda. ExpressVPN puts a stop to that and encrypts all your data while you're using it. ExpressVPN gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. You heard that right. That means whenever you're using any type of streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, you can use ExpressVPN and you can have access to all types of content from all over the world. So whenever you get that pesky little pop-up that says not available in your region, switch your location and you guys can have access to that region. Recently I watched the new Cinderella movie starring Camilla Cabello and I wanted to cleanse my mind by watching the Lily James Cinderella that came out a few years ago so I went on Disney Plus and Disney Plus actually didn't have the Cinderella live action in my region so I switched the location of the UK and I was able to watch the lovely Lily James Cinderella live action. Find out how you can get three months of free ExpressVPN by clicking the link at the top of the description. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video and Without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into this video, I want to make sure you guys know what you guys are getting into. I will not be showing anything that graphic. I will be either cutting it off to where it's just me watching it or censoring most of the movie that is showing graphic things because it's a rated R movie and they do show a lot of graphic things. We will not be showing it in this video due to I don't want to be demonetized and I also don't want to be sued by Tom Six and him for showing too much of the movie. Up on the screen right here is the extent of the things I will be showing. Maybe you'll see a little bit of blood, some probably R-rated language, and that's about it. Maybe some sounds, um, but obviously if there's anything more extreme that I run into the movie that I will be showing, there will be trigger warnings. Here are all the trigger warnings right here before I even get started. Watch at your own risk, and let's get into it. I wonder if every actress from this movie, like every actress and actor, has just changed their names into the movie. Because like, to me, like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, this film traumatized so many people. Like, I can't imagine wanting my name to be attached to something like that. Like, it's not even on the same level as like any other movie I've ever seen. Like, it's just a freaking gore fest. Like, usually with some gory things, there's like a point or a message, and I don't know the message of the human centipede. Cause something about a poop cycle just doesn't seem that representative to me. What's the allegory that could be placed within the human centipede? That's not even real. That He didn't even actually do the experiment. That's just like, that's just a picture. Like he just duplicated that one dog and then was like, yeah, this is the vision I want. This is the vision I need. It's such a shame that this is only the first sequence. Like. I know what happens in the next two movies and it is literally just a meta like meta sucking my own dick like Tom Six is sick Tom Six more like Tom Sick because he just does a meta like dick sucking contest in the next two movies where he's just like it's a meta universe of the human centipede and it's so annoying 
two prime candidates to get their face sewed to a butthole. Okay, obviously he's just looking for tourist. Is there any other like requirements you need to have your butthole sewn to a mouth? Is there any other requirements? Like I feel like you would want someone that has a good, like they have good bowel health. Like you don't want someone that's constipated. I would be horrible because if I'm traveling, I'm constipated queen. So like, how would he know? Like, did he have to give him gas X or something or like some sort of laxative to make sure they went? Because you don't know if these girls are constipated queens. We are. That was a weird cut. <laughs> It cut right before, it cut right before they hit that and got a flat tire. He's like, perfect candidates. Perfect candidates. Are you relatives? No, 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 we're, we're friends. Anyway. So he wants them to be relatives. So it's like a better, it's a better human centipede if they're related. So he wants like a family to stumble on into his place. But what's the difference if it's a family or if it's not? Any sort of idea where the human centipede concept is in place, it doesn't work out because it's just, you just cannot heal. Like you can just not heal with that. And what does them have to be relatives have to do with anything? If they're relatives, would it make it like, oh no, I, I can do human centipede, but I cannot do incest. Incest is where I draw the line, but sewing someone's butthole to someone's mouth is completely okay. This guy's weird. I don't like human beings. But he doesn't like humans, but then he wants to make a human centipede. Seems a little bit, it seems a little bit like the story's not lining up there. Doctor. Verdammt normal, kannst du nicht aufpassen, du dumme Sau. Stupid cow. Deine Augen im Kopf. Trampel. This is, this is why you'll become a human centipede because you stupid cow. Okay, twilight blue tint filter. Do you think Tom Six was inspired by Twilight that came out? This tw Twilight came out in 2008, this came out in 2010. He definitely was inspired by Twilight. So I love that blue tint, I love that blue filter. It just gives such a, a great energy to the whole movie. I need that. I need that for the human centipede room. It looks like he's really sad about it though. Like it does look like he's really sad about having to kill him. So maybe he does have some humanity left him. Well, he's not sad because he's sad about killing someone. I think he's sad because that means he has to find another person for his human centipede. There is a max like seven people in this cast. Such a tight knit cast. I'm sure they very much bonded while filming. I'm sure like it was just a really tight crew. It was like a family. You know, when people say it's like a family on set, I, I know these people still, they have reunions. It's like a family reunion, honestly. Can't imagine anything to bond you more than the human centipede, truly. I love Asian representation. I can't believe Twilight and the Human Centipede have the same amount of Asian representation. That's very crazy to me. Dang, that is a shit drawing and I'm not trying to make a pun. Like, I'm not trying to make a pun at all. That's shit. You might have a vision, but you have a very shit execution. But like, in all honestly, like this would never work. Pause, like as a surgeon, you should know that would just never work. If you're having like, okay, incisions take a very long time to heal, like enough to where you would have a bowel movement in the, in the time that it would need to heal. And fecal matter to incision, open incision or healing incision will definitely cause an infection. So I don't know what type of fucking surgeon this is, but he's fucking stupid. Like he's literally so dumb because like even I can know that. It's like you couldn't think of a little redirection of the colon into like a colostomy bag or something. So you could heal that full up, heal that incision all the way up before they go back to pooping through the, through the anus. 
I don't know if I'm just really smart or something or if I'm just like a, I'm leveled up on the human centipede but something about this guy and his method just doesn't seem like it would ever work. Obviously it didn't work because the dogs already failed and he didn't even do a second trial on the dog. He just went straight to humans afterwards. So he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He literally doesn't know what he's doing. So I don't know why he's so confident and why he had to explain it like that because it doesn't really make any sense. All he could have said is butthole to mouth. <laughs> ow! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. That was literally the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life and that's literally just the first little shot of gore. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm scared. I don't want to watch it. I take it back. I'm- oh, okay. At least like he's not gonna be a jump scare like whenever she sees him again. That door also just does not look closed. Like, do you see how much door is poking out right there? <laughs> oh, <God>. Open now! <laughs> Your knees and pull your teeth out. You're already gonna do that. That's the thing. You already promised to do that even if I didn't open up the door. Choice. The way that door is moving oh, so no, much, no. like the door is moving so much, he could easily knock it down. That's like set designers, why did you make that door so flimsy? Don't don't show me that bloody cut either. That's so nasty. That's so disgusting, actually. He has it- he has it by his bed. He literally has it on his nightstand, his little Photoshop creature. He looks kind of cool. I have to say the sunglasses are a nice touch. Oh! Girl, what was that? <laughs> what was that? You are the middle piece. He was kind of funny for that one though. Like, honestly, it's kind of funny to be like, you tried to escape. Well, now you're getting the worst fucking spot, bitch. Like, he's kind of funny. You are the middle piece. <laughs> I feel like her will to survive is kind of crazy. I would keep something on me to like kill myself in that situation. If I do end up getting caught, like I would like to be, if, if, if I'm gonna die, I wanna be the person that does it for myself, you know? Like I don't wanna die with my butthole to someone's mouth. I don't wanna die while my ass is being eaten unconsensually and permanently. <gasps> what a dumb bitch, oh, God. Everyone is so fucking stupid. How are you gonna be in this position and do that? I'm not gonna watch it though, of course. Cause why would I watch this? I'm not insane. <laughs> I'm assuming a lot of hospital beds have <laughs> wheels on them. Like, isn't that normal for hospitals? Hospital beds have wheels on them. So if he has them, maybe they would have wheels on them. So wouldn't she just keep her on there and roll the bed to the window instead? I mean, it would be a lot more loud, but I think it'd be easier and quicker. Do you think Dr. Fox? Why is he looking at me? What did I do? Do you think Dr. Fox? <laughs> Do you think he fucks? Or do you think he just does this? Cause I feel like if he does fuck, he fucks weird. I'm assuming only like butt stuff, but I'm not gonna just assume that about him. Not saying if you do butt stuff that I'm like comparing you to him, that's not at all what I'm doing. Cause I don't think butt stuff is weird. I'm just saying it seems like that's what he would do since he's so obsessed with mouth to butt. But like, okay, the thing about this movie is that I don't really get what his motive is like i do want to understand why he wants to do this so bad because you know in disturbing movies like wall uh in disturbing movies like tusk the whole point was that he like had such he had a life-changing experience with a walrus and he wanted to have that he wanted to be a walrus so i'm like what experience did he have with the centipede that made him want to do this you know what a weak bitch. 
this this bitch wants to do all these crazy surgeries he wants to kidnap people and make a human centipede but he's like struggling trying to take out the teeth ew ew don't fucking show that there's literally no point to show you cutting the knees. Also like, ow, my knees are so sensitive. I would never want to do that. Ew. It's literally so gross. And it's also not that sanitary. Like he does not care if these bitches get infections. Like the whole point is that he wants them to survive while they're a human centipede, but he's touching his face and he's getting everything contaminated and he's doing multiple surgeries at once. It's like, fucking get a grip, man. You know nothing about sterilization and how easy it is to get an infection while doing surgery. It's like, what a bitch. Like he doesn't know anything stupid. If you're gonna do something crazy in your fucking cr Crocs with no socks on, Crocs, no socks. If you're gonna do that, at least do it correctly. He looks like Dr. Dukenheimer from Phineas and Ferb. Also, get a suit that fucking fits. You can't be like fucking a insane whore and then not get a fucking suit that fits. Ew. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Ew. 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 <laughs> That's a not a good picture. <laughs> okay, so if you want to know what's happening, I'm like, I'm sure you know what's happening because you know the premise of the movie. Basically the bells are sewn to their mouths. But you can like see the incisions that he did like all the way up here. It's like a little smiley incision and it looks, it, he didn't even use stitches. Like he didn't even do that for them. He didn't even use a quick little, a quick little stitch. He had to use staples. Like the whore he is. Like you're gonna do staples out of all things. Like, I just don't know how if you were sur to survive, how could you go back to living any sort of normal life? Like the thing is, if I got out of there, I wouldn't, I would just kill myself. Like I wouldn't do anything. He's like, you guys are really excited too. Like you guys are in tears because you are so proud. Like you are happy to be here. Like I know you are. <laughs> okay, so now what? Wait. Now what, <laughs> doctor? <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest. It would hurt so bad, but if the biggest issue you have is having your mouth to a butt, I think I would just rip off. <laughs> it would hurt so bad. It would possibly kill you, but also, I have to say that I don't think the breathability right there would be the best. By that I mean your mouth is connected to that, which you use your mouth for a lot of your breathing, correct? Like a fair amount you can. But then like your nose is right up against their back. Like it's like, it's gonna be feel like you're suffocating. <laughs> His face, he literally, that if you put like reality TV drama music, that would have been like insane. <laughs> What was that? Ew! Ew! He's okay. He's shitting into her mouth right now, and she has to swallow it. Stop pooping! Stop pooping, please! Please stop pooping! <coughs> I wanna sleep. <laughs> I have to sleep. He's like, guys, can you just give me this? Can you please just let me sleep? Like, that's like all I want. Like, why can't you guys give that to me? As if we haven't seen enough of this already, we get to see his butt. Ew. Ew. He's pushing the pus out of her stitch. He went from crazy surgeon man to just a chill guy in a white tee. Like it looks like he got that tee from like H&M. Basic white tee from H&M, just living my life. Never mind. He's not a normal guy in a white tee because he has white pants too. But like you're smirking, like you definitely have a smirk on your face. So like, what do you mean? Like, I don't have time for any of that. You're literally like, I don't know why you would suspect me. Like, why would I have any business in that? 
Like, I just don't know what you're talking about. Like, I just, like, wouldn't do that. I have no idea what you're talking about. The island is it. I just feel like he's not that good. Like, out of all, like, the serial killers we've seen, all the masterminds behind all these disturbing pieces, he's just, like, not that good. You know what I mean? Like, his concept, his basic concept for the human centipede, very flawed. Because they're all, like, one's constipated, one's got an infection. The only person that's doing fine is a leader because nothing really happened to him. Preparing for a new operation. A quadruplet. He said, we're preparing for a quadruplet. Coming to you soon. See you later, big girls. on my house gehört Ihnen. Oh my god, you didn't come up with a jacket, you didn't even put it in pocket. He is so stupid. Literally the most stupid man we've seen in all of our movies ever. And we've watched some, we watched He's All That. We've watched He's All That and this guy is the most dumb, dumb he's the dumbest motherfucker we've seen. He's probably so surprised, cause like how did they get away? How did you guys get away? Like it just doesn't make sense in the noggin of how they got away. Cause this guy, well, I mean, honestly it makes sense why they got away because it's not like he tied them up. It's not like he like restricted them in any way other than they've already adapted. They, the thing is, is that they've already adapted to walking on their knees together. So like his whole thing of like restricting them in that way doesn't work anymore because they already know how to walk with each other. <laughs> That really scared me because I did not, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. And I've seen that part. Take it out, do it again. Take it out, do it again. Oh, he doesn't need to do that. Take out the knife and, and kill him for reals. No, 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 no. You still have the knife there. Do it again, do it again. You guys are as stupid as he is. Take that motherfucker right now. Not spiral stairs. Oh my god, they literally had. They could have killed him right there. That's that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating that they had the knife right there. They could have pulled it out and slashed his goddamn throat. He was already down. How can you guys all be that stupid? How can you all be that stupid? You don't need to just get him down for one second. You need to kill that motherfucker. Ew, it is so bloody. Oh my god. Ew, it is so purple. That is so disgusting. That's literally the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, she looks she looks bad. I'm going to be honest. She looks bad. Oh no, he's crawling towards us. So. Keep it in your hand, motherfucker. No, keep the lamp. If you crawled over to him real quick, he was still crawling. Hit that motherfucker in the head. Have the have fucking glass on you. Stick it in your little diaper. Bam. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man, but you could have killed him at this point. I'm so sorry, like our front man. You could have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no 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 no! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Ew! He could have killed him. That's the thing. Like. The doctor man was like really not like good. Like he wasn't, he wasn't probably gonna get you because he was moving so fucking slow. Like you could have killed him with, a, with that lamp, with that lamppost or even that little glass. I don't blame the front man for killing himself because I would have done that literally the second, the second I got a tool to kill myself, if I was in that position, I would have. So now what? Now they're just stuck. Now we're just stuck in this position with no one to help us. I'm gonna be honest, you have to detach yourself. And our girl in the back is about to die from infection. Like, she's about to die. So the writers were like, in this moment, we want her to be attached to two, not only attached to them, but they're also dead. Attached by, I'm attached to one's butthole and another person attached to my butthole. And they're both just dead. Who thinks of this? Who, who, is, who is thinking of this? <laughs>
You couldn't give a final girl anything. You couldn't give her a little bit of anything. I wish our girl in the back, I wish our girl in the back did like one final sacrifice. Like she knew she felt like she was gonna die and she just like ripped herself off. I'm surprised none of them even wanted to try that. I don't have anything to say because it just made me feel sick. I don't feel good. Tom six, you're Tom sick. Like you're literally sick for this because like putting aside that it's just a disturbing, disturbing film, there is literally nothing to the plot. Like there's no message. There's there's nothing to it. Like I hate fucking movies like that. Like I watched The Strangers and there's nothing behind the killers or their motives. It's just like, they're like, why'd you pick us? And they're like, you were home. And it's like, that's fucking sucks. I would like to see why he has this disturbed fantasy of the human centipede. He explains what it is. He goes, he like, we can see that it brings him a lot of joy, but like, we don't know why. And I feel like that's so upsetting. Like at least in Tusk, which Tusk is a also, it's also a very disturbing film. He makes like skin walruses and it's like really fucking gross. But at least in it, he kind of gives you why he wants to do it because he has such a connection to walruses and a walrus saved his life or something or a walrus like, I don't know, did something he wanted to fight a walrus. I don't really know. I don't really know. And then we get into this. We don't know anything about the antagonist. We could have literally had any speck of the antagonist other than like, we had that he was a surgeon, have nothing else. Okay, he's a con he separates conjoined twins, what else? And in the next two movies, the creative factor that they choose to do is make it a meta universe. So they choose to have every movie exist in the previous and they just make it a longer human centipede. They don't go into any more details about the actual functionality of the human centipede and how it just definitely would not work. Like they don't do any of that. I don't know, this movie's bad, the acting's bad. I don't even think the villain's acting was that good. I don't even think the doctor's acting was that good. And that's saying something. Like I think he was scary like in the first couple minutes, but as soon as there was like any sort of person that was smarter than him that walked in on set, like the detectives, I was like, okay, yeah, you're really not that scary. And it's like, you can't even do a human centipede. Like you're a failure. You know what's worse than torturing humans, kidnapping them and forcing them? to be conjoined by the butt and the mouth is being a failure at it. If you want to, you can subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you guys can be notified every single time I post and be the first to watch it. Usually in the first couple hours of posting, I respond and I heart a bunch of comments. So if you wanna be one of those people, just be here first. If you have any other Halloween movies or horror movies that you want me to watch this October, then definitely leave those in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time.